Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to configure SSO with external identity provider and form Titan. So let's first go ahead to our account. So I'm just going to head over to my account, push settings logs, and in the bottom SSO I'll click grant access. Um, this is a SSO we have configured just for testing with um, one login. This is the information from one login. So first I'm going to paste in the identity ID, the entity ID, and paste it right over here. And let's grab the certificate. Paste it in the certificate. And we're going to grab the logged in URL, which is this guy. And the logout, grab from here, and paste it over here. Now the SSO logout redirect is whenever your, um, whenever your user logs out, this is where it will redirect to. So we're just going to do um, let's just do Um, google.com and do not force oath what basically means that whenever st whenever the user is still logged in not every time that he pulls up a form we're going to request him to identify himself so we're, I'm going to check this for now and click test test integration requires me to log in to one login I'll hit continue and put my password in. And that's it, we're done. So I hit apply and now we get to the form to the form part. So we can see this is authenticated. I'm gonna head back to my form and let's do something fun. So I'm gonna add a text box and the an email field. Just call this name, call this SSO, SSO name. And now we're going to head to limits and click configure SSO. Now it just authenticated us again. And these are the fields we have from the identity provider. You can pass as many more fields as you want, uh, depending on your configuration of your identity provider. So right now we send from the identity provider, we expose the email and the name field, and I'm gonna hit apply and save. Once I publish this, since I'm logged in, it will pull up the form and I mapped it wrong, so let's just fix the mapping. So we're going to map the name here and the email here. Hit save again, refresh my form. And this is the information from the identity provider. If I will open this form in incognito mode, then we're we'll able to see how it works. So right now I cannot access the form. It asks me it asks me to log in. So I'm just gonna log in. Typo. And here is my form. Let me show you another feature we've added here. It's an SSO logo button. So I'm going to throw a button here and change the type of the button to SSO logo. Let's call this. 
And let's just put a background on this. Change the font. Alrighty. I'm going to refresh my form and hit log out. And now it will redirect me to sales, to Google. Since this is the redirect URL that I put there, let me show you another configuration where we can control the specific logout uh, redirect URL for every um, form. So we have the, the general setting that we set up once we set up the SSO, but let's say in, in a certain form we want the user to be direct to be redirected somewhere else. So I'm just going to log in here. And I'm going to click Override this is SSO Logout Redirect. And now you could do anything you like. So in this instance, I'll put, let's do, formtitan.com. And I will apply and save this. Let's publish my form. And I'll hit log out. And I'm redirected to form title. So I've overridden the redirect and my general SSO setting. Another thing you can do is log out with a condition or with uh, or with uh, just calculated JavaScript. So let's just do put a text box. And I'm going to say condition logout. And I'll go through the settings of the, of the text box and do set conditions. <coughs> and I'll say if this field, um, let's say, equals to 1, then I would like you to execute JavaScript. And you can see we already have a, met a method here for you that will basically run the SSO logout. So window.ftssl logout. And the only thing you need to do is just uncomment this. And just get rid of the this. And I'll hit apply. And we don't need to support the opposite. So I'm going to hit save and publish my form. It will ask me to log in since we logged out. So let's put this guy. And we're in. And if I'll put this, nothing will happen. If I'll hit one, we were logged out and redirected to form titan. And this is how it's done.